Well, hello and welcome to the Bed Monkey Show. My name is Alex, and today is day five, the last day of our WordPress uh, SEO tactics five part series. Now, I do apologize for not uploading last week Friday. I had some technical difficulties with my camera, but here I am. It's Monday, and I'm uploading the final part. Now, how was your weekend? I hope you had a great weekend. I had a good weekend. I had a haircut, and I hope you like the haircut. Anyway, today we're going to talk about something very, very simple in a relaxed manner but also something that's actually very, very important, and that is WordPress plugins and how they actually affect your SEO. Now, plugins, we all know plugins, they are fantastic. They provide us with lots of functionality. However, not all plugins are built in the same way. You actually have plugins that can negatively impact your SEO, while you have some that can complement your SEO. This is something most people do not know. Now, when it comes to uh, plugins and how much functionality they provide you. Generally speaking, we've got two categories. You've got the heavyweight plugins and lightweight plugins. Now, heavyweight plugins would be those that use a high number of resources and as a result can slow your website down. The good thing about these plugins is that they tend to provide lots of functionality. Now, on the flip side, you've got the lightweight plugins that use very minimal resources and as, as a result, will not negatively impact the speed of your website, but they also tend to provide either limited or decent amount of functionality. Now, I'm about to show you a list of plugins that you should avoid whenever you can. Now, here is the list, and I want to stress something here. I'm not saying that using any one of these plugins is bad. What I'm saying is that for each one of these plugins, you do have faster alternatives out there. As an example, we've got the Divi Builder and Visual Composer. These two are very, very popular page builders, but rather than using them, you could use faster alternatives like Elementor. You've got Revolution Slider on the list. It's a very, very powerful plugin for building different kinds of slides, but it's a bit heavyweight. You could go with Soliloquy, or layer slider, these would be fast alternatives and so on. Now in certain cases like WooCommerce, if you have an e-commerce store or you tend or you want to build a you know an e-commerce store with WordPress, you're more than likely going to have to use WooCommerce. There's just no way around it. In certain situations like that, it's fine. Okay. You don't necessarily have to now panic and start looking for a different alternative out there. No, you can use WooCommerce to build your e-commerce store. And in fact, if you already have a site that you've built with Divi Builder or Visual Composer. I'm not saying you have to rebuild the entire site all over again. No, you can stick with them, but in certain situations where you've got uh, less important plugins, like let's say uh, Backup Buddy or Evolution Slider, I would recommend that you stop using them and use different uh, alternatives out there. Now, here is a list of some of the lightweight plugins that are also alternatives to the ones I've mentioned in the previous slide. So like I said with Revolution Slider, rather than using Revolution Slider, you can use Layer Slider or Soliloquy. Rather than using the next-gen gallery plugin, you can use Envira. Rather than using uh, WP Bakery, Visual Composer, or Divi, you could use Elementor. So here is a list right here of the plugins I would recommend that you use as opposed to these plugins that you have in here. Now, as a general rule of thumb, try to avoid plugins that draw content or functionality from an external source. There are a lot of websites, especially blogs, that use this, uh, I think it's called Related Posts plugin, that will draw content or posts from other websites that are similar to the article that the uh, user has just, uh, has just read. Those kinds of plugins should be avoided because they draw their traffic, they draw their functionality, their content from external sources. Try avoiding those plugins whenever you can. And especially when it comes to social media, uh, try to avoid using a plugin like the uh, WordPress uh, Facebook plugin. That can actually slow your site down. Instead, use something like the uh, Sassy Social Share plugin. Use plugins from Studio Press. Any plugin from Studio Press is typically very, very good and very, very lightweight. And finally, one thing to remember is that in the WordPress uh, plugin repository, 
we do have over 50,000 plugins available. So it's more than likely that you will find an alternative to a plugin that you're already using. Again, let me just stress that using any one of these plugins isn't necessarily a bad thing. I'm not asking you to panic and run around and start changing them, no. But if you notice that some of these plugins are slowing your website down, remember that you've got alternatives and I've provided you with some alternatives in here. Try using them and see if it makes uh, a significant uh, difference. So that's basically it for today's tutorial. Very, very simple tutorial on just the use of plugins and you know the kinds of plugins to avoid using and those that you should use instead. But I hope you found today's video very, very useful. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Share the video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from it. And before I round this video up, this five-part series on SEO tactics has actually been part of a new course that I'm currently working on that will be published very, very soon. It's the WordPress SEO 2020 course where I cover everything from content optimization to the use of the Yoast plugin to speed optimization, everything that you can think of when it comes to WordPress SEO. I have it covered in the new course. It's almost done. It's about 95% done. It should be ready in about a few days. So be on the lookout. As soon as it's ready, I will release the, the, uh, the trailer for you and also offer discounts for those of you interested in getting the course. So that's it. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. If you haven't seen the previous four episodes in this five part series, be sure to check them out. They're very, very informative and very useful. Thank you so much once again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.